Hello there YouTubers. We're going to do a cutting up a old hickory tree. This is the one that you saw me use the dozer take the um, stump out with. This is a 30 foot, 30 foot piece of hickory. This end here is running 12 to 14 inches depending on whether you measure from. I already got my marks on it. Everybody's got their own way of marking uh, logs. So there ain't no point in showing that. This is real muddy. Super mud. Just the bark's full of mud. So I'm not using a sharp blade. I'm using the one I've been sawing. I think I've sawed up a couple cords of wood with it already. This hickory and all this, all this mud in here is probably going to finish me off. So that's uh, where we're at on that. I'm going to cut that up. Then I have one more. If the sun isn't getting you over here, that's another piece of this same tree. Um, I'm going to cut that up. Then I have another one here. I don't want to cut that. I might make um, cant hook and PV um, handles out of that. Um, then I hope to get a little bit of split splitting done today. I want to get one totes full of this hickory. Rain's coming in tomorrow night, so I got to get done before that. Uh, I got the uh, sawmill half cleaned up. Another log on deck because I didn't like the wood the other day. Here's the slab wood. I'll put a cover on it. Um, you can see how people that are new to the channel haven't seen it. I put I put these back in. I moved these over from this hole to this hole, redrill it, put those back in. Then I stack this up higher and it makes them a lot more sturdy and stable to me. And then I stack them up. That might be that might be uh, 12 inches, 10 to 12 inches above that. And then I put the lids lids on like that. Everybody's got their own way of putting them on. Uh, so you can do what you want in that department. Um, or not even use them. We'll be using the, I hope, 041. I bought this back in 82. Uh, like I said, the chain isn't the sharpest. The other thing I wanted to show you, we're going to do it from an angle here. I got the end of the, uh, I'll zoom in on it. I got the end of the uh, sawmill shed done down there. I, I'm going to put a slider in down there and I think down at that, that uh, spot there, I think I'll put two um, swing doors on there. Uh, so that's where I'm at. I'm going to go set you in the stand. This is kind of my own wood splitter war. See how long it takes to uh, chop that up. And then the next video is going to be loading it in the, uh, the, the uh, bucket. And then the third one is going to be um, splitting it. So if this old chainsaw wants to start, we're going to do it. We're going to cut some mud. Um, I'm trying to think if that's and yeah, maybe I'll come up a little bit. I keep the logs up so I don't have to bend over so daggone far. And it makes it easier on me. When you get old, you'll realize. Nah, I don't want to start today. We might be doing another video. There we go. Better warm up a bit.
then you just notch it real quick and it comes off. Where are we at time-wise? We're only at 12 minutes. And three minutes, three minutes of that was the uh, showing that you jumped around. So we'll finish it out. <laughs> Good chips. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know where it's at. It's throwing good chips. It's actually sawing pretty good. I'll take you down, maybe see you. Let you see the other side of it be cutting now that I'm down to where we're a little bit. We're at 14. Whoops. Tripped over you. Make sure you're still there. That's be good to see finishing it off.
on there. I'll, I'll get you on the next one. Over and out.